Welcome back to Danganronpa V3. We are potentially seconds away from learning the identity of a new victim, or perhaps not. We are on our way to the gym, and while we're on our way there, assuming I don't get interrupted by someone, I want to throw out a couple thoughts because you never know when we might be down a cast member and what I'm thinking may become irrelevant, but I was thinking to myself that Last episode, when we had a conversation in the dining hall with Angie and Himiko, that Angie proposed the idea that everyone just get used to their life here and suck it up and learn to love it. And I thought that was a really suspicious line of thought, because that is not a new concept in a Danganronpa game. And let's just say that saying that makes me think that person actually feels the exact opposite and maybe on the brink of committing a murder themselves because they can't stand it anymore and want to get out of here as desperately as possible. So I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe Angie is the next Blackened. Or maybe I'll walk through the gym and she'll be dead. Let's find out. But of course, there's the incredibly heavy-handed comment. Whoa, this is good news. Karumi's not dead. Not yet, anyway. There was that heavy-handed Kaito comment that Suichi said to himself, I swear to God, if he just like straight up dies right now, I will be slightly offended at how heavy-handed that writing was. Well, it doesn't look like there's been a murder. Cannot help but notice that Kaito's not here though! Great! Whoa, this is even nicer than I thought it'd be. Yaha! Welcome to our magic show! What do you think? Isn't it divine? Okay. Yeah, it is. I didn't think you would have a real stage setup. Did you and Himiko do all this? No, no. This would have been impossible with just two people. I got others to help us. Kaito and Kibo helped carry equipment from Himiko's research lab. I designed the stage, but Kirumi sewed the curtains. Thanks, Bitua Tua. No. Ah, uh, shouldn't everyone who worked on it get the credit? Oh! Well, I didn't ask you to help because I didn't know what you'd be useful for. That's... Did you really have to say that? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, just sit tight. Once we're done preparing, we'll start right away. Huh? Done preparing? You're not ready yet? Uh, yep. The star of the show needs to settle her nerves. The star of the show requires mental preparations. <laughs> you okay there, Himiko? She's shaking like a leaf. Yeah, I cannot help but notice that, uh, some people are missing. Could it be... Himiko, are you a bit nervous? <laughs> j j just a little bit? Certainly doesn't seem like just a little bit. Because the magic I'll be performing today is the Extreme Water Magic Underwater Escape Act. I've never successfully cast it before. It's pretty difficult, so I'm a little nervous. Huh? You've never cast it before? Hmm. And today, in order to raise the stakes, <sighs> there's a time limit. If I don't escape from the tank within the time limit, piranhas will be dropped in. I'll be pureed. Huh? Pureed? This is looking a little dangerous. Okay, then. The water is cloudy, so I can't see very clearly, but I do see fish swimming around. Those are all piranhas, huh? They don't look like normal piranhas. Hmm. Those piranhas were in my research lab. Angie said we should use them for the show. Ah, uh, no. Well, wait, piranhas are way too dangerous. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, Tenko. Himiko! Himiko, please reconsider. They're piranhas. They're nothing like lasagna. With my magic. No need to worry. I'll instantly kill all the piranhas with my magic. Huh? You're going to kill them? I thought this was an escape trick. Um... Himiko, are you serious? Uh... There's no way I can stop now, since Atua's watching the show and all. No! There's no such thing as Atua! 
Angie has brainwashed you. What was that? You don't believe in my magic? Uh, well... I... I can do it. I'm a sealed young girl. Because I'm a mage. That has to be a bug. That has to be a bug. Those sprites are not supposed to just disappear like that. She psyched herself up and headed straight to the water tank. <laughs> of course. I believe in your magic. You're my precious friend. Tenko. Oh, I'm starting to like Tenko. Yoo-hoo! Ready, Himiko? Did you say your prayers and use the bathroom? <sighs> I said my prayers and went pee. <laughs> then let's get this show started. It's starting already, but not everyone is here yet. Maiko, Kokichi, Ryoma, and Kaito aren't here. What happened to Kaito? I thought he'd be here for sure. I wonder if something happened. Well, it's Danganronpa, so probably. Thank you, Atua, for being with us today. Boo! Boo! You're supposed to thank us first! <laughs> you go, Tenko. I present to you the mysterious, the miraculous, the amazing Himiko! <laughs> the, the, the magic I will perform today is the extreme water magic. Uh, uh, underwater escape act. If you would please turn your attention to the water tank in front of you! When the timer above the stage starts, Himiko will enter the water tank. Once she's in the tank, her assistant, me, will draw the curtain in front of the tank. After 60 seconds have passed on the timer, a separate suspended tank will open and drop in a school of piranhas. Oh my goodness. After the piranhas have fallen and the curtain is opened, if by some miracle Himiko has been gobbled up, Please give a big round of applause! Just kidding! It's a joke! Are you feeling alright? I'm concerned about Himiko. She's not responding properly to Angie's jokes. Mm. Gonta worry. Gonta have bad feeling. <sighs> Atua, please protect Himiko. No! Oh, wait, what am I doing praying to Atua? That's Angie's shtick. Oh. Well, I guess you could pray to some other god. Well then, let's begin. The amazing Himiko's magic show. In her typical high-pitched voice, Himiko made her announcement and started the timer. And she took a deep breath, took a breath and dove into the water tank. And she closed the curtains obscure in the water tank from view. We stared silently, waiting. I clenched my fists nervously, my palms damp with sweat. Himiko is still not out! She went in mere moments ago. W well, do you think she's alright? Uh, Gonta's starting to worry. Should we do something? She, she still hasn't come out! Are you sure she's okay? Gonta can't take it anymore! Gonta cried out, leaped out of his seat, and... Wait, Gonta? Ran up to the stage. Oh, you can't do that! We're still in the middle of the show! B but if Gonta does nothing, piranhas will eat Himiko! That is not what the text says. Good job, NIS America. Huh? Um, less than 10 seconds remain. I don't care if it ruins the trick. Just come out. This dress is bad for my heart. Himiko! Right when the timer hit zero, the buzzer went off. And then... The bottom of the suspended tank swung open, and the murky water and shadowy shapes inside fell straight into the water tank Himiko was swimming in. Huh? Huh? Why do I get the feeling that someone was already dead inside that piranha Look, tank? Look! The piranhas! H hurry! The curtains! Open the curtains already! 
Got it. I'm opening it now. When Angie pulled apart the curtains, we witnessed an unbelievable sight. Maybe it'll be okay. Oh shit, son. Well, all right. Well, that's a little goofy. Not the person I was expecting, to be completely honest. It took a few moments for all of us to even process it. But then again, perhaps we weren't even trying to process it. Perhaps we didn't want to acknowledge it. Though my suspicion was correct. Great, huh? Behold, the magnificent underwater escape. Yeah. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please gather in the gym. <sighs> yeah. A body in the gym? Then, when Himiko turned to look back at the water tank... Huh? <laughs> That's all we get? <laughs> A thin line divides heaven and hell. It's time for the investigative portion. Oh boy. Are you as excited as I am? For the second time at the Ultimate Academy, a body discovery announcement sounded out. Those who weren't present at the magic show heard it and came running. Alright, let's pay attention to the order people show up in. Uh, what? Doesn't seem significant after all. What's going on? Ah! I don't know, I don't know what happened. Well, you know. We should break the tank, right? We gotta check what's inside. What? What? Break it? Yeah. Yeah, break it. It'll take too long to drain it by hand. Huh? But what would we even use to break- Hey! Gonta, key boy, you're up. Huh? What do you mean, we're up? You're so dumb. Gonta, throw key boy as hard as you can. Use that robot like a battering ram. Do not mock me! Who are you calling a battering ram? Got it. Gonta, throw key boy. Got it. Got it! Then I'll help too. Please, wait! And, and now wait just a second. You don't need to team up now. <laughs> they actually did it. <laughs> Poor Kibo. The sound was intense. All of piranhas and water dr dyed red with blood rushed out. Don't you mean pink? We watched helplessly as the area flooded with water. After some de deliberation, we decided to start cleaning everything up. However, I made sure not to disturb the scene more than necessary. With Kurumi's expertise, we were able to clean up enough to start investigating. Um... I've gathered Ryoma's body and belongings in one place. Kibo looks depressed. He was just used as a battering ram, so I understand why. However... He's been reduced such that he can be carried in one hand. How fleeting and fragile life is. Mm. Gonta put piranhas in bucket. Piranhas all got big tummies. Gonta think they fool. Ew. <laughs> Today, Ryoma is fish food. And tomorrow, he'll be fish shit. Oh my. Don't say such things. Himiko? Are you okay? Is this... This wasn't an accident, was it? Does this mean the killing game has started again? <sighs> How? How could this happen? We swore to each other, didn't we? We swore we'd never let the killing game start up again. Why? So that was all just a lie. You guys are liars. All you liars apologize to Ryoma. He believed the killing game wouldn't happen anymore. Unacceptable. Your disingenuous tears make you as the, as the liar right now. Did I get caught? Oh, you figured it out. You got a pretty good eye there, Kyo. Hey guys, how's it feel now that you've got a second murder victim on your hands? Oh? oh? Huh? Ryoma's transparent? My, has my x-ray vision superpower 
finally awakened. Rising Shiner sign. Father! You don't have superpowers? He's just been reduced to a skeleton. All right! Finally! I've been waiting for the killing game to start up again. That means we can put all this boring crap on hold and start playing the blame game. That's nice! You're raring to go, Mona. Uh, who are you again? The hell you saying? Monosuke! You should at least remember your own kid's name. Okay. Hmm. Mono Fanny, are you okay? <laughs> Five. Four. Hmm? Hmm? Are you counting, Mono Fanny? What are you counting? No. Because three, I'm seriously two, gonna puke one now. <laughs> ah, she puked again. You stupid. What the hell are you doing, you failure? Dumbass. Listen up. We're here to make sure the killing game goes smoothly, Capice. They are so cute. Also to keep me company. And new mascots present lots of exciting business opportunities. Who cares? Shut up, you failure. Dang it. What? Me too. Yoo-hoo. Hey, hey. This conversation is fun and all, but we should really get this over with. Cause Atua says so. Don't we need to start investigating or something? All right. I'll get the culprit this time for sure. Hurry up. Okay. Give us the Monokuma file. You mean the Monokuma file? I also investigated the cause of death this time, so read it to your heart's delight. Pops! Oh, this is sort of unrelated, but I got a great business idea. Oh? Yeah, that's totally unrelated. Got it? Let's use the Monokuma file to start a funeral service business. You know, how it gets awkward at funerals when you start asking about the cause of death. And that's that. If we pass out Monokuma files, even the worst deaths will get a giggle out of the attendees. Well? Well, Pops, what do you think? Huh? Cute? The way you pass out the files is just so cute! Why don't you come over here with me? Pops is gonna lick me all over! Huh? Father's showering Monosuke with all his love. You think maybe Monosuke's right? Maybe Father doesn't like us anymore because we're not hostile and threatening enough. I think maybe I'll follow Monosuke. So, so long. Farewell. So then. In any event, let us begin the investigation. But. Investigation? So it's really going to start again? Actually. I can't believe it. One of us killed Ryoma. Someone among us. How did this happen? No more. Go to. No one to investigate friends. No one to suspect friends. Then. Then don't do it. I'm not going to investigate either. Huh? Huh? Because. You'll be fine if you're short. If you're short a person. And I doubt a child caregiver would be much help. Jesus Christ, Maki. You're like anti-Kyoko. What the hell's wrong with her? I tried to stop her, but Maki didn't even turn around and she kept walking. What was that? The fuck is that bitch's problem? She's seriously not going to investigate? Incomprehensible. That seems rather irresponsible. Yes. She likely assumes someone else will take care of it, and I suppose she isn't wrong. But why would she say that now? She participated in Rentaro's investigation. Although I suppose Maki has been acting strange lately. I've been told she spends all all day in her lap. What is she doing in there? Jeez. Well, I'll have a talk with Maki later. For now, we should start investigating. Always messing around. I'm seriously pissed we gotta do this, but it's our only chance to survive. Right? Yep, I'll do my very best too. Because? Konta and I have to work especially hard so we can regain everyone's trust. You right. <laughs> we don't have, e we don't even need to investigate. It's pretty obvious who the culprit is. Huh? Is he gonna blame Himiko? Right? Ryoma was murdered during a certain little magical girl show, right? Mm -hmm. So I think we need to be a little more suspicious of that little magical girl. But... She's so suspicious that it seems not suspicious. Yeah. Right? But then again, she's made herself look not suspicious, so now she's super suspicious. Hey! Degenerate male! Shut up already! How dare you toy with Himiko's pure heart! You got me! 
You just said Himiko, didn't you? But I never mentioned her name. You gotta be kidding me! Uh, shut up, shut up. Himiko would never do something like that. I... I know her best, right, Himiko? No. Huh. This is the part where you agree with me. Anyway. Oh, Tenko, I know that feeling. Himiko, can you at least tell us the trick behind the underwater escape act? Because... If we know how the trick works, we can try to figure out who the who the culprit killed. It's impossible. Huh? Not possible? Why not? It's magic. There's no trick to the underwater escape, because it was my magic. <laughs> how long is that donkey lip midget going to keep saying that? Um... Himiko, in order for us to find the culprit, it's plain to see we need your help. Cut it out. My answer won't change, no matter what you say. Cause I'm a mage. There's no trick to my magic. Cause it's magic. Seriously? Come how on! Long, how long are you gonna keep that bullshit up? Listen, if we don't catch the culprit, we're- Cut it out already! That's enough! If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. <laughs> I'll use my Neo Akito to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. What? I'm not bullying her. It's her fault she's being so stubborn. Mm. Well, it's fine if you don't want to tell us. I'll just find out myself. Right? Actually, that sounds pretty fun. It seems as if... To solve this mystery, we must first learn the trick behind Himiko's underwater escape act. We must do it. We have no choice in the matter. He's right. We have no choice. We have no choice but to find the culprit who killed Ryoma. This investigation is to save all of our lives, because we're risking our lives in this class trial. Why are we fading to black? Okay, that was weird. I kind of feel like that Shuichi. should have not needed a transition, but whatever. Hey, Suichi, you got a sec? Huh? What's wrong? I mean... Before we start the investigation, there's something I gotta tell you. Alright! You're my sidekick from now on. Huh? Your sidekick? You know... I'm more of a scientist guy, so I'm not really cut out for investigations. But that's a good quality to have for an investigation. Listen up. Plus, the only stage fit for Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars, is the universe itself. <laughs> so I'll leave the details to you. Pave the path for my success. But... Ah, but... I don't know what to do as a sidekick. Don't worry about it. I'll make all the tough calls. You just gotta do what I say. He loves to make decisions on his own, doesn't he? I mean... So? Leave it to me! I'll take full responsibility. And since you're my sidekick, there's nothing to worry about. Huh? Got it. All right, let's get started. First, we gotta check the Monokuma file. Uh, okay. Right. Kaito making me a sidekick like this. Could it be? I'm scared. I try hard not to be, but I'm scared. I can't stop thinking about the pain and sadness that comes if I reveal the truth. That's what I'm afraid of. Is he trying to help me? Hey! Hey, what's the matter? Let's check the Monokuma file already. Uh, okay. Right. At Kaito's behest, I looked over the Monokuma file. The victim is Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro. The body was discovered in the gym. The cause of death was drowning. His body was consumed by piranhas until only bones remained. No other injuries can be confirmed at this time. Hmm, that's not to say he didn't Come have on, any. Man. What? There's less written here than before. I've got a bad feeling about this. Hmm. The time of death isn't written here. Okay, that's really suspicious now. Hmm? Remember, the previous Monokuma file indicated Rentaro's time of death, correct? The victim is Rentaro Amami. Doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. The victim's body was discovered in the library. The estimated time of death is 9, 10 p.m. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma to the back of the skull, resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. No other injuries were detected. But... But the Monokuma file this time doesn't indicate a time of death. What? Did Monokuma mess up? No. This was intentional. Monokuma told us that he wouldn't give us any information that would reveal the culprit. But... Thinking about it that way, it implies that the information would be damning evidence for the culprit. Ah. So that means the key to this case is the time of death. 
Well done. Ah, uh, there you go. I knew I picked a good sidekick. There's one more thing in the Monokuma file that catches my eye. Ryoma's cause of death. It says drowning, but if that's the case, we might be able to unravel the case from there. Monokuma file 2 has been added to truth. All right. All right, now that we're done with the Monokuma file, we can get started on the investigation. My first command to my new sidekick is... Investigate everywhere and find clues that will lead us to the culprit. He's pretty commanding, as I expected. You know, bold words, Kaito. Considering you're suspect number one for me right now. But given that we now know that time of death is likely not when we first saw Ryoma floating in the water tank... That leads me to believe that any person in this room could be a suspect. Or outside this room, I guess we can't eliminate Maki either, but I somehow doubt it's Maki. <sighs> Alright, where would we like to start? Well, I guess we can look at his remains, not that they'll tell us much. Well, that doesn't count. Okay, I guess I gotta go up to the water tank. Nope, I guess I gotta talk to everyone else first. There's a white panel back there. No, I guess I have to talk to people first. Right. Fine, Danganronpa. Wait, what does it want me to look at? What is it referring to? Oh, I'm a dumbass and I'm hitting the wrong button. Okay, I guess we gotta do this now. I'm committed to it. We can look at the timer. This is the timer that was counting down the escape trick. I didn't realize it was also a timer to reveal Ryoma's body. Oh, this is going to be an interesting case. When I stood on stage and looked up, the piranha tank was, already, was directly overhead. It was set up so that the bottom would open when the timer had reached zero. The bottom is open now and the tank is empty. It doesn't look as though it has a lid. I can see the ceiling straight through. And only the front side is glass, the other side is made of wood. So the piranha tank has no lid, and only the front was made hey, of glass. So oh yeah, the tank was from Himiko's research lab. Ah. Hey Kaito, you help carry supplies for the show, right? Got it. Yeah, me, Hibo, Himiko, and Anchi. It was a lot of work. But I just helped carry it. I wonder how they hung it from here. You know... There. It was a heavy tank full of water and piranhas. It wouldn't have been easy to lift. That is. It seems this is where the lighting being the lighting baton for the gym is attached. Ah. Oh, Kurumi. It seems as if. The control panel on the side of the stage allows you to raise and lower the baton. Am I saying that right? I don't know. It seems they lowered the baton, attached the piranha tank to it, then raised it again. Hmm. Hmm, I never knew lighting bat battens. Is it battens? I don't fucking know. I don't know my lighting equipment. We're sturdy enough to lift a tank like that. That is correct. Since it was built to lift heavy objects, it is probably quite sturdy. Maybe someone will say it in a voice line during the trial. Well, the obvious thing that we should glean from this is that Ryoma's body was in that piranha tank. Like, I had a feeling that was going to be the case that someone was going to be in there. Once, uh, Suichi was like, you know, it's really cloudy and you can't see into it very well. <laughs> I was like, yeah, because it's probably hiding something. I know your game, Danganronpa. Also, now we know that the other side's wood and there's no lid. Let's keep investigating as I try not to choke on my drink. Oh, God. So I guess we can... Oh, can we investigate this thing? We can. Right? There we huh? go. What is this? Is. It is the control panel for the stage lights. It allows you to raise and lower the, the baton. I'm going to say baton from now on. I feel hmm. like that's probably it. I see. That's all we get? Okay. Kurumi, do you have anything to add? Hey! You were helping set up the show, right Kurumi? Did you hear anything about the trick? I do not agree. No, I did not hear a word. Furthermore, my help consisted of sewing the banner and curtains. <sighs> so I do not know the details of her trick. Well... I see. Oh, 
All right. My first command to my new sidekick is... Listen up. Investigate everywhere and find clues. Don't overlook anything. You got it? Fuck you. You're super suspicious right now. There are? Like, what exactly? The curtain? Yeah, the curtain. There's a curtain covering it, but I believe there's a window on the other side. What's the matter? You want to check that window out? Okay. Oh, yeah. You remember in the uh, in the pool area that uh, it connects to this, I believe. Ah. Ah, it's too high up to reach, huh? Yeah, it's pretty high. Even higher than the piranha tank. We're going to have to go investigate that pool area. Higher than the piranha tank. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. There was a ladder next to the stage. I'll go get it. Kaito quickly headed off to the stage. He returned carrying the ladder that was set up beside the stage over his shoulder. Hey, so... But, you know, shouldn't the sidekick be the one bringing the ladder? Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. After setting up the ladder on top of the stage, I climbed up the rungs. You can just barely reach the window with this. And if you open the curtain... Oh, the window is open. Yeah, I thought so. If the window's open, does that mean the culprit used it? The culprit may have gone in and out through this window. So what's on the other side of the window? I can't see much, but I think it's the pool. A pool, huh? I heard we had one here somewhere. All right, let's check it out later. The culprit probably went through there. Oh, wait. What is this? Hmm? What's up? Nothing. It just looks like marks on the window frame. The window frame has distinct abrasions, perhaps scratched by something. This might be related to the case. I should remember it. Marked window frame. Hmm. So something potentially scratched the window frame. I can't think of what it could possibly be right now, though. It'll play a role, though, for sure. Hey! You done investigating the window? Then I'll put the ladder back. Okay. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you, Kaito. Jeez. Shouldn't the sidekick be doing this? He complained, but he still put the ladder back for me. I've investigated everything I wanted to on the stage. Hmm? Hmm. We're all done here? Then let's go. Okay. All right, near the water tank. It's the large water tank from the escape trick. The glass is broken. It's in bad shape. Come on, man. Did you guys really need to break the glass? Everything's soaked now. But... Well, if we had left Ryoma's body there, we wouldn't have been able to investigate. That's right. I guess it would take... It would have taken way too long to just empty the whole tank with a bucket. Okay. If we, if it was a lot of cleanup, but at least we can investigate the tank now. There might, there might be a clue around here. I should take a closer look. Got it. Yeah, you're right. Because we broke the glass, there is, isn't much of anything left in the tank. But I should investigate the area thoroughly. There, there's bound to be something. Well, we can look at Ryoma's body. I don't know how much it could possibly tell us. Ryoma's body is nothing more than a skeleton now. Now, not even a shadow of what it, he was. <laughs> what the heck? Is this really Ryoma? I didn't see the moment it happened, so I can't believe it. Uh, okay. I'm certain of it. Remember. Everyone watching the show witnessed it. We saw Ryoma become nothing but bones. Damn. I can't believe he died in such a gruesome way. Well, the water filled with blood so fast we th we didn't see the whole thing, thankfully. But the skeleton is unmistakably Riomas. Jeez. I know he wanted to die, but he didn't have to actually go and do it. No. No, I don't think that's right, Kaito. Rioma wasn't trying to die. He said as much. He was jealous of us who wanted to live. Huh? Huh? What do you mean he was jealous? Hmm. I'm positive that Ryoma wanted to join us. That's why he needed a reason to live. 
so that he could have the same feelings we do, so that he could have the that reason to keep going, to fight alongside us. <laughs> then he was a real idiot. Who cares if you don't have a reason to live? Can't your reason for living be something simple like food or your friends? Damn! Damn it, that idiot! Hmm. Check out the glass. The fragments, the fragments of the broken glass water tank have been piled up. There's so many tiny pieces. Gonten Tanko certainly didn't hold back when they threw Kibo at the glass. See, there's a glass panel. Is that from the tank? The shark tank? Or piranha tank, I mean? Hmm? There's a square pane of glass at the bottom of the water tank. Oh no, this must be part of the trick, huh? It doesn't look like a broken piece. The other fragments are far more random than this. It's nearly impossible for the bro broken water tank to produce such a perfect square of glass. Then what exactly is this paint? Square glass paint. I have a feeling I should ask Himiko about that. Handcuffs? Why are there handcuffs here? It's still locked, and there are small scratches on them. The cuffs appear to be stainless steel, so not too hard to scratch. They must have been scraping against something hard or sharp. Huh? What are those handcuffs? Why are they, were they in the tank? But I've never seen handcuffs in the warehouse. Where'd they come from? That's true. There weren't any in the warehouse, so where did they come from? If they weren't in the warehouse, another place they mi that, that might have handcuffs is... Could it be he's a prisoner? Ryoma's lab wasn't just for the ultimate tennis pro, but also for the ultimate prisoner. So perhaps some element of that was in his lab as well? Is that so? I was thinking that they might be from Himiko's lab, given that, the, you know, handcuffs and magic tricks do go hand in hand. Ryoma's belongings are all gathered together. His clothes, his monopad, the key to his room. Ah! That's it! If we use this key, we can investigate Ryoma's room. Hmm? Hmm? What's in his room to investigate? Remember! The motive video. We should find out whose video Ryoma had. Oh! Then, you think Ryoma was killed because of that video? No. I can't say for certain, but we should check, just in case. Although, he might have had my video. If that were the case, I might be a suspect. Well, no point thinking about that now. Yeah. We know he just might have that. Can't be Kaito's, because we have Kaito's. Alright, how about this bucket? Oh, this is the piranha bucket. It's a bucket full of piranhas. Gonta said that he picked up all the piranhas and put them here. I can't believe Gonta would do that with his bare hands. Oh wait, yes I can. Ugh. When I think that Ryoma is inside their stomachs, I don't even feel like eating them. Why would you <laughs> want to eat them? Why would you ever consider eating them in the first place? <laughs> Only the strong can survive in this world that ha that Atua has created. Amen. The least we can do is pray for Ryoma's soul, so that he may enter Atua's kingdom. Come on, man. Can he really go there looking like this? But, but... Those piranhas sure were a miraculous mystery. Maybe Atua was behind those videos too. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh... I noticed it right as the show started. What a surprise! I feel like there are more piranhas today than yesterday when we were preparing. N no. More piranhas? Huh? Wait, did they multiply overnight? There's no way they could re reproduce that fast. But, but... Compared to yesterday, the piranhas looked super crammed into that tank. Ah, so they looked more crammed together. Dear, dear. The water was too murky, so I couldn't tell how many more piranhas there were. Oh my! But anyway, it was super, 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 super crammed. What a surprise! Super, 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 super crammed. <sighs> Jeez, we get it. More piranhas than yesterday. There, there might be something to that. Piranhas has been added. Alright, that's all I wanted to see around the water tank. Well, that takes care of everything other than witness accounts, right? 
it doesn't appear to be anything else to interact with. Now, excuse me for a second as I adjust my mic. There we go. Shock mounts been getting in the way of the text. Yeah, my magic was supposed to make everyone smile. Mimiko! Don't worry, everyone is smiling. I don't think any of us can smile right now. Um, Himiko, if it's all right, are you ready to talk about your underwater escape trick? We need to understand how your trick works if we're going to solve this mystery. What are you saying? There's no trick to my underwater escape act. It was magic. Come on, man. You're still saying that? Do you understand the situation we're in? Stop it. No matter how much you guys threaten me, my answer won't change. It was magic. Huh? But- I'll protect you! Okay, time's up. The Q&A session is now over. Hey Unless you want to feel the full volcanic wrath of my Neo Akito. Jeez. Man, this guard is more strict than the security at idol events. Suspect number three, maybe. Angie. Ah, that's right. We need to ask Angie about the stage. Angie! I wanted to ask you some questions about the stage. I... Yep, I was in charge of all the art. I even built and painted the stage. Then... Then, do you know anything about Himiko's trick? How it worked, perhaps? Nope. No, I don't know the trick. Himiko only said it was magic. I see. I suppose she didn't tell Angie the secret either. Uh, um... By the way, you asked other people to help you with the preparations, right? Uh, yep. Yep. We started the paperwork yesterday. Lots of people helped out. Like when we were moving the heavy tank and the stairs from Himiko's research lab. Yeah. Me and Kibo helped with that. The tank had a pulley, but because it was so huge, it was still a lot of work. Right, right. And I asked Kurumi to sew the curtains, because I hate sewing. Thanks, be to Atua. So basically, it's all thanks to Atua that the show was a success. Ah. No, it's because of all of us. Was it really a success? Uh, um... By the way, were the piranhas your idea? Because! On its own, the Underwater Escape Act is no different from a normal magic show. So divine! I thought it would make the show more exciting and divine if we used piranhas. Atua has spoken. That's what Atua told me. So Atua gives you that kind of advice too, does he? Um... And about the piranha tank and the timer. Those were from Himiko's lab, correct? Of course, of course! Yep, yep. According to the Piranha's tank manual, it synced up with the timer. When the timer goes off, the bottom of the t Piranha tank will open automatically. I see. That means the most of the equipment came from Himiko's lab. And then? And right when we finished the prep work and were about to take a break, <laughs> Gonta captured us so we couldn't rehearse at all. Jeez. When Gonta let us go, it was already nighttime, so we couldn't go back to the gym. You know. Oh, yeah, you can't enter the gym at nighttime. This yep, is boring. Yep. So we decided to come to the gym today, but before the morning announcement. Thank you! Himiko and I were waiting for the gym to open. Oh, I was so relieved that the, that the set was intact. So no one could have snuck into the gym before those two got there. What's up, Suichi? Are you worried because of this confusing incident? But, but... Don't worry, it'll be fine. Huh? What? Atua has spoken. You have nothing to worry about. Huh? Nothing to worry about? No, no. Nothing can escape Atua's sight, not even the culprit. <laughs> Atua is truly a divine force to be reckoned with. Angie is starting to sound more and more creepy. Uh, she's been creepy for a while. Okay, so that's important because that means you can't get into the gym at night. Therefore, this uh, the killing actually happened before 10 o'clock last night. And anyone who was part of the whatever you want to call what was going down in Gonta's room last night could not be the culprit. So no Gonta. Uh, doesn't eliminate Kokichi. Man, that, it eliminates some people, but notably, doesn't eliminate Kaito. I really feel like it must be him. 
still have things to investigate here. Who do we have to talk to? Ah, we can go down the row. Oh, I can talk to Kibo. Kibo was one of the helpers. But Kibo's not a suspect um, for me because he was with me and going to his room. Although there are many unknown variables, the first thing we need to make clear is... When was Ryoma murdered? Hmm? Well, in the middle of the show, obviously. Yeah, I don't think so. The culprit knew how Himiko's trick worked and took advantage of it to kill Ryoma. Huh. In other words, everyone watching the show isn't suspicious. But... Kaito, you didn't attend the show either, did you? Well, that's... No, but I'm still not suspicious. I forgot a promise, so I was just eating breakfast. Of course! You got it, I'm not suspicious. Oh, dear. I do not understand how that explanation is supposed to convince me. Kibo does have a point. Can I leave now? Nope. Let's talk to Tenko. Hey, degenerate male! If Himiko says it's magic, then it's magic. Got it? I'll use my Neo Aikido to obliterate any degenerate male who bullies Himiko. If we don't understand the magic trick, how can we possibly survive the trial? Kaito, you suspicious fuck. All right. My first command to my new sidekick is. Listen up. Uh, fuck you. Mew, you got anything to add for me? Oh, there's the ladder. I haven't looked at the ladder. There's a ladder here. I wonder if it was used to set up the show. Uh, we already knew that, right? Nope, still more things to look at. All right, Mew. Hey! Hey, <laughs> Pilmwad, there's something I need to need you to tell me. That's not a very polite way to ask someone for something. You know. It's got nothing to do with the incident, but I heard Gonta captured you guys last night, right? <laughs> the hell was all that about? I was running around, so I got no clue what happened. Got it. Oh yeah, tell me too. I was also running, so I still don't know what's what went on. How did Miyu escape from Gonta? She's not strong enough to fight him. Why, you? Chop, chop, you slimy shit. Uh, um... Well, I suppose you could say that Gonta was tricked into kidnapping us. The first ones to get captured were Kibo, Kyo, Smoogie, Tenko, and I. Himiko and Angie were brought in later. Huh? From the gym, right? Okay. Exactly. And Kokichi left the room around 9 p.m. So they must have been brought in about five minutes before that. If I remember correctly. We were all forced to participate in Gonta's insect meet and greet. We were freed about an hour into nighttime, around 11 p.m. I see. So from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., everyone there had an alibi. And then those people without an alibi are me, Harumi, Maki, and Ryoma. <laughs> I see you've learned what an alibi is thanks to the previous incident. But what the fuck is this insect meet and greet bullshit? Why? By the way, Mew, how are you able to get away from Gonta? What? Um, oh, well... Um... I had to use my secret woman weapon. And let's just leave it at that. Huh? Secret woman weapon? <laughs> Wait! Wait! What's a secret woman weapon? <laughs> Is she trying to laugh it off? Come on, man. Suichi, just leave her be. Trying to... Listening to her will just tire you out. You're right. You're probably right. Perhaps it's better to get the truth out of her at the class trial. <laughs> Are we really going to learn exactly what she did? Insect meet and greet has been added to the truth books. Alright, so there's our entire list of people. Also, did you notice that... I mean, I don't know if it's intentional or not, but Kaido kind of contradicted himself. He brought up the fact that the people at the meeting greet had an alibi. But why would they need an alibi for that time when he thought Ryoma died just a few minutes ago? Like I thought. If Himiko doesn't tell us how the trick works, we won't know how Ryoma was killed, right? Oh, what if Ryoma was a former apprentice of Himiko's master and vowed revenge on him? And he murdered a lookalike of himself in order to sabotage her show. Yeah. Or something like that. It's happened before, probably. Can I leave yet? Nope. Ugh, I probably have to talk to this bastard. Hey! I'm glad Himiko made the game more difficult. 
Now I won't be nearly as bored. All right. Time to get to work hard to solve this mystery. Get ready, Cobra, because here I come. Gonta, you have something for me? How can this be? Gonta could have saved him. No, Gonta should have saved him. What happened? Gonta, what's wrong? <sighs> when Piranhas attacked Ryoma, if Gonta had dived into Tank, then Gonta could have helped Ryoma. Gonta got scared. Too scared to do anything. Gonta, idiot. Gonta, really sorry. Come on, man. Ah, oh, man shouldn't apologize so easily. And even if you jumped, had jumped in, they just would have eaten you too. That's true. And from what I read in the Monokuma file, you couldn't have saved him anyway, Gonta. Huh? Huh? Really? Does it say that in Monokuma file? You know... You haven't even read the Monokuma file yet? Gonta, not smart. Gonta, not really understand it. Gonta, not smart enough to be helped. Dumbass! What are you talking about? If you've got time to apologize, you've got time to read the file! If you think you can't help, then work till you can. That's what you gotta do. You're right. That's right, Gonta. You're a huge help. There's some information that only you know, after all. Huh? Information only Gonta know. Remember. Remember, during the show, you went up on the stage. That was about 20 seconds before the piranhas dropped, right? Mm. Yeah, because Gonta worried about Himiko. Could it be... Did you see inside the tank? Did you see Himiko or Ryoma? No. No, Gonta see no one in tank. Gonta kind of surprised. This is important. Ah, uh, you can't do that. We're still in the middle of the show. But if Gonta do nothing, Himiko get eaten by piranhas. Huh? But you know... But when the piranhas were dropped in, dropped and the curtains open, Ryoma was in the tank, right? Um... Yeah, that right. So... When did Ryoma get in there? You didn't see it happen? Oh, Gonta see. Gonta don't know. Everyone see Ryoma and Tank when piranhas drop in after that. Sorry! Gonta should have watched Tank better. Dumbass! Like I said, a man shouldn't apologize so easily. Um... You right. You know... But this is a problem. Now I'm even more stumped. Even if Himiko disap... E even if Himiko disappearing was part of the underwater escape act, how did Ryoma get in the tank? Was that part of Himiko's trick? I'm positive that the mystery will be important. Well, this mis that mystery will be an important point of the case. Gonta's account has been added. That must finish what I have to do. No, what am I missing? I talked to everyone, right? Did I miss something up here? Huh, not the tank itself. Huh? Yeah, we already got this line. Oh, the curtain. I didn't look at this. Hmm. Is there anything suspicious about this curtain? Hey. It's been bothering me. What was that curtain for? That's... It was in order to hide the water tank. When Himiko was performing her escape, this was closed to prevent us from seeing. Ah. Oh, so that's what it is. Then is it some kind of clue? Hmm. I don't believe so. I don't see anything suspicious about it. Really? Then why give us all that unique dialogue for it? There's still something. What am I missing? Let's go back up to the stage. Maybe I missed something over here. So we got the open window, right? Maybe you talk to Kurumi? Thought we already talked to her though. Hey! Yeah, we got this. Yeah, got that as well. Maybe you talk to Himiko again. We still haven't gotten much out of her in regards to the trick itself. Interesting that you can interact with this curtain from up here. Oh, 
What was that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nothing new. Shuichi! Did I not talk to Kyo? I guess I didn't. However... I never would have imagined such a cruel murder happening at such a fun show. <laughs> Why did the culprit commit such a barbaric act? Did they wish to see us panic? No. I don't think that was the sole motivation. There was some other reason for it. And that reason must be related to Himiko's magic show somehow. I see. So that means the culprit knew of Himiko's trick and made us u made use of it, yes? If that's true, did Himiko tell someone? Someone who thinks the trick is actual magic? Well then. Since the show was used, we must investigate the trick as well. Kyo murmured almost to himself, then walked to the back of the stage. Mm -hmm. Is there anything to investigate backstage? Um. Let's follow him. We should investigate the entire area anyway. Oh, this is interesting. There's rope. This is a pretty long rope. What was this used for? Hmm. I estimate it is roughly 65 feet in length. Huh? You can tell just by looking at it? But of course. I am well versed in ropes. I once visited a village where their use was commonplace. <laughs> when it was time for me to leave, the women of the village all begged me to stay. I find that deeply disturbing, but I have to focus on the investigation. Anyway, what is this rope? Could this be related to the case? So there's that. We can talk to Kyo again. Listen. Since the show is used for the murder, we must investigate Himiko's trick as well. Perhaps there are clues here? Nothing above. Not much below. I should probably look at that puddle. Is there something here? No, oh, let's decide that after we search it. I'm guessing the puddle is its own thing. Must be, right? Yeah. What? There's a puddle behind the staircase. This isn't a puddle from when we broke the tank. The floor around it is completely dry. Perhaps someone who was wet was here, doing something. That's true. Changing wet clothes? But... But how would you get from the water tank to this space behind the staircase? Could it be... This may be a vital clue for understanding the underwater escape trick. Mm, doesn't appear that Himiko is actually magical. Okay, that's Kaito I'm interacting with. Stage staircase. The stage staircase goes up to the top of the stage. Inspecting it closely, I can see that some places on the side are wet. That might have something to do with the puddle next to it. Well, we already looked at the puddle. Large water tank. There's nothing strange about it from behind. Other than the large size, it's a normal tank. I see. All sides of the tank seem to be made of a special type of glass. I see no hidden doors. Very mysterious. How, I wonder, did Himiko escape from the tank? That's right. Well, if we figured it out easily, it wouldn't be a magic trick. However... I believe that if we figure out the route Himiko took, we will discover how Ryoma got in there. That is true. There is a high probability that they used the same route. To reveal how Ryoma got into the tank, I need to reveal how Himiko managed to get out of it. I've investigated just about everything to do with the stage. But I still don't know how the trick was performed. Hey, so... How long are you gonna investigate here? We still gotta find the culprit, you know? Come on, let's go. Kaito! I believe we investigated everything we need for now. Ugh. Well, our investigation's over now, so who's the culprit? No. I can't say for certain yet. There are other places I need to investigate. Come on, man. What? You still don't know? I never thought detective work would be such work. So where else do we gotta investigate? That's... First, the pool next to the gym. They're connected by the window above the stage, so that needs to be looked at. That's true. After that, I want to go to Ryoma's room and find out which motive video he had. Then I want to go investigate the Ultimate Tennis Pro's lab. 
I've deduced that the handcuffs we found in the water tank probably came from there. Is that everything? Ah! Last of all, the ultimate magician's lab. I want to know more about Himiko's trick. If we go there, I'm sure there'll be some kind of clue. Hmm. So we still got a lot to do then, huh? Good luck, Shuichi. After all, it's gonna be you doing all the heavy lifting here. You're right. Right. Don't screw around! What do you mean, right? Are you saying I'm useless? Is there any way to respond to that? All right. Now this investigation's dragging on just a bit too much. So I think given that we have four more areas to do, we gotta do uh, the pool area, Ryoma's room, Ryoma's lab, and Himiko's lab. That's gonna be plenty of things to look at and look over and read. So we will save the second half of the investigation for next time, which means the start of the class trial is two videos from now. Look forward to that. I will see you all in the next one.